Welcome back to Zoom TV. As I said before the break, I'm catching up with a very special person today, and it's Dave Reynolds from Team Bottolo V8 Supercar Driver. Mate, welcome aboard my boat. Thanks, Aaron. Cheers, mate. It's not my boat, but uh, apparently the Tourism WA wanted to test your skills out on the water. How'd you find it? Um, yeah, they took us out on the Swan River and gave us a few like 360s, and yeah, I've never really been on a jet boat before, so it was, it was pretty cool. They pointed out these three swans swimming across the river, and they said that is why they call it Swan River, because those three swans, I'm like, all right, they must be 100 years old then. They, there's a, well, there's a few out there, but they're all kind of, they're not welcome here why we're uh, building Elizabeth Quay, which is gonna be a great tourism attraction, probably in a couple of years when you come back. All right. Now, tell us about your career. At the moment, you're in the top 10, you've got a new car, how's it going? Uh, yeah, I'm sitting eighth in the championship. Um, we've only done two rounds, and we come to Perth for our third round. I've got a new car, it's called the FGX, so it precedes the old FG model, and it's a lot better than the old car. Like, it's got more downforce, it's much more balanced, and it's much nicer for me to drive, and I, I feel like I can push it a bit harder. And there's a lot of people contributing, obviously, to the result that you're out there and paid to achieve. A absolutely but ultimately you're the person that's responsible for that result. Yeah, we're, we're sort of in the, in the limelight a bit more than the rest of the team, but you know, back at the workshop, we've got about 65 employees working for four cars. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's a huge team sport, but everyone forgets that, you know, I always say 95% of my speed and effort on the weekend comes from the team and, and the, the preparation they put in off track. Okay, now how did you get into racing itself? Um, how did I get into racing? I started racing go-karts when I was six years old, so back in 1991. Um, I did that for a few years and I gave up and played tennis for a bit and then I gave up tennis because it was boring me and I started racing carts again and then oh, I raced Formula Ford, Carrera Cup and V8 Supercars. You know, that's, I suppose, 20 odd years of racing. Okay, so if someone out there was thinking they want to follow in your footsteps as such and become a, a supercar driver, what would they have to possess that would clearly say that they'd be successful in it? Oh, there's a number of different things. You know, um, you gotta be a strong competitor. You gotta have a great mindset. You always gotta believe you're the best driver. Okay, well, I'm gonna find out if you answer my questions the best. Are you ready for the Fast Five? All right. Shoot. Okay, what was the first car you ever owned? Uh, my first car was a Mazda X7 Series 1 1979. I bought for a $1,000 with my old man and and spent the next, I don't know, two years fixing it up, building it, learning about it, and, and I think that's why I got such terrible grades at school. Now, what would be your opinion of the worst car ever made? The worst car ever made? Uh, oh, maybe a Suzuki Mighty Boy. Do you know what they are? Oh, really? Yes, I do. I grew up on a farm. They yeah, were great to carry half a bale of hay. Yeah, <laughs> they were tiny. They were pointless. <laughs> they were. What is your opinion of the best car ever made? Uh, the best car ever made? I'm a big fan of the 911 turbos. When I won the Korea Cup Championship in 2007, I was 23 years old and they gave me one for a few months. It was a seriously a brilliant car. Heaps of power, well balanced, had every trick. It was comfortable to drive, easy to park, everything. And what car do you currently drive? Uh, I currently drive, I just picked it up, but it's a um, FGX XR8 from Ford, which is it's brilliant, yeah. And the final question, what is your biggest fear? Uh, I'd say heights and flying, like commercial jets, like I'm just, horrible at flying. I've, got, I've gotten better over the years, but I always end up watching the night before I leave to go somewhere. I always end up watching air crash investigation. That's where you're going wrong. That's where so I, go. I know that's where I'm going wrong. Anyway, thank you very much no for coming Thanks, on the show. Aaron. Good Cheers, luck mate. with the rest of the year when we hope you stay inside the top 10, push for the top five. What do you reckon? Yeah, I'll give it a bang. Thanks, Th mate. There you go. Now, if you'd like to find out more about the show because it's done, we're over, go to zoomtv.com.au. And don't forget, if you've got an event coming up, we want to hear about it. Give us all the details. Follow the links from the events page. You never know, we might even come along. Until next week, bye for now. Thanks for watching. And remember, whatever you do that zooms, make sure you do it safe. And that's a wrap.